Okay, so we are beginning our online international education fair and the webinar is about to start. I can see we have about 100 students. I want to thank you for joining us today. I hope this is going to be a useful information when you're going to be attending till the end of the webinar. You will be able to learn about the scholarships, application fee waivers, the COVID-19 updates and many more. So watch till the end and ask any question that you have. I hope it's going to be worth. Thanks. For international education here at Park University. And uh, I'll give you a brief overview of our campus programs we offer uh, and admission uh, criteria and some of the key, key points uh, that uh, I think are important to know about uh, Park University and the choice of um, this particular choice for your education future. Uh, so Park University is uh, founded in 1875 on a beautiful campus just north of Kansas City, Missouri. So we're right in the middle of the U.S. Uh, we have uh, access to we're about 15 minutes from a major airport. And um, as I said, we're located just north of Kansas City. Uh, and out of about 2 million people, uh, right in the middle of the U.S. Our cost of living is, is very reasonable here in the city, but uh, we have the advantage of being right right near and right um, right near a major city, but still having a, a reasonable cost of living and, uh, and those many opportunities in Kansas City, which I'll uh, discuss later for um, employment and opportunities and, and such. So uh, Park University has uh, been welcoming international students for, for many, many years. Uh, we call ourselves One Family, the uh, emphasis for us, uh, the Park Family. Uh, we have 263 international students from about 60 countries. And uh, we are an independent private university, so we're not affiliated with, uh, religiously affiliated. But uh, we do have 40 campus centers across the U.S. Uh, International students typically study at our flagship campus, which is just north of Kansas City in a town called Parkville. But we do have 16,000 students uh, across our network, including uh, online. Uh, a unique feature for us is we, most of our programs are offered face-to-face, -face, but also online. Uh, so sometimes students, uh, if they come and study with us and they need to go back, or if they want to start their studies, they, they do the online uh, options as well. So, and we have over 25 years of experience in the online course delivery as well. So, that offers us a lot of flexibility when it comes to uh, dealing with the COVID-19 crisis that uh, we're, the whole world is dealing with. And so, uh, we are here for our students no matter where they are and what they are studying. Uh, Park University is known for being one of the more affordable private universities in the U.S. Um, and that is a unique situation because we can offer small classes, um, but still at an affordable tuition rate. And I'm going to talk about that tuition rate, uh, that uh, estimation here soon. But um, we are very popular uh, in our MBA program and in the Kansas City area, but uh, we have a very reasonable tuition by especially by private school standards. Um, so we'll talk about that in a moment. But we are fully, of course, accredited by ACDSB for business and we a nursing program as well. So we have over 60 uh, bachelor and master degree programs, uh, business, technology, health, and education. Um, once again, small classes from anywhere between 20 and 25 students where students come first for us, we're a student-centered institution. Um, so this kind of gives you an overview of some of the programs we have in the area of business, uh, both in Kansas City and online. Um, so we have uh, you know, obviously general bachelor degree, but also in business, but then you can concentrate in various areas. Um, so and at, at the master's level as well, we have the concentrations. So th what happens usually for the master's degree is, as many of you probably are interested in that, is you take, um, you take about um, 11 courses total for MBA, and then um, seven of those would be the core courses and four in the concentrations, which are listed there. Um, so the, some of the business courses. Um, a growing program for us is our um, 
uh, information technology programs. And um, these are STEM programs, as you're probably aware. Uh, these offer a three-year optional practical training, uh, which is employment in the U.S. post-graduation. So um, for Indians, the uh, most popular program is the Master's in Information Systems and Business Analytics. Um, this combines uh, the IT side with uh, business analytics and big data, analyzing data, trying to communicate what that data means to the corporation and uh, how to utilize and manage that as well in a secure fashion. So that is a very popular major right now uh, for us. And uh, But we also have other programs such as graphic design and communication studies. Um, healthcare programs are also popular with us. Uh, also popular in India for right now, right now with, with us is a master's in healthcare administration. Uh, so this is working, managing hospitals, managing healthcare sectors, uh, managing healthcare systems. And with the, with the situation we're dealing with right now with COVID-19, we need people to be able to manage these systems more than ever. Um, and so uh, this is a very popular, uh, popular major. And we also have a bachelor's in nursing as well. Uh, it's fully accredited. So uh, we have numerous different, or a few different programs in the healthcare sector, which are which are attractive. Um, typically, our master's programs will be able to be completed in from one and a half to three years. Um, if you go quickly, you can do it in one and a half years, 18 months. Or if you go long, long term, uh, you can do three years. So the programs are very flexible at Park. Um, you can take typically the master's programs. There are eight week sessions. Um, so every eight weeks, students can take one or more courses. Um, so it depends on how fast um, you want to pursue the education, but it does allow some flexibility. And these are some other programs in terms of uh, public administration. That's our uh, and other programs, criminal justice, um, and uh, some other programs we offer that are related to public management and disaster emergency management. So. Uh, this is our dormitory, Topwood Quad, which uh, is one of the main dormitories where students will stay at Park University if they don't uh, live off campus. So career opportunities, obviously, that's one of the more reasons you're wanting to pursue this degree. Um, Kansas City is one of the fastest mid-sized cities in the USA, as I said. Uh, if you, um, the cost of living is very reasonable in our area, but yet you get to be by a major city. and um, People are very welcoming in the, in the Midwest, um, very kind and nice. Uh, um, I myself grew up in the Midwest and uh, I feel like it's a really welcoming opportunity, really welcoming environment for international students. Um, we work with some, many corporations to help connect with internship opportunities. Obviously that depends on the student and their major and what they're interested in. But we do have many students that do uh, internship, uh, also called CPT, Curricular Practical Training or, and of course, the OPT after graduation. So we identify companies who hire international students and try to connect the companies with the students in that way. Um, so we have a career services office dedicated to that specifically. Uh, as I said before, we, is if you're part of the Park family, you are part of um, our family, and uh, we do everything we can to uh, really make the student experience the best as, as possible. We have uh, arrival assistance orientation. We pair our students with families for dinners, other activities. Uh, we have uh, 40, we have many clubs and organizations. But I would say, uh, you know, in terms of the, the environment, really nice, um, safe environment uh, in terms of Parkville area. It's one of the safest cities in Missouri and the state that we are in. So it's a uh, very, uh, very nice place to be and a beautiful place to be, as you saw earlier. Apartment style living um, for the dormitory. Um, I'll just briefly go over to uh, obviously the cost. So this is one year estimate for undergraduate. Uh, so if you count all the tuition, books, fees, um, so that's the estimated cost around just over 22,000. And then for graduate costs, we're talking just under 20,000 estimated for one year. And that means if you're taking the um, two and a half or three year track, this would be the cost in terms of uh, one year. And just to give you an idea, for a master's degree at Park, for total tuition costs, you're going to, it's right around 21,000. 
dollars for the whole degree program. What I'm showing you here is the estimated cost for a year, but another way to say another way to look at it is for the degree program, you're going to be right around twenty-one to twenty-two thousand for the whole program. So that's if you're talking a master's program, um, that would be uh, for the eleven courses total. So scholarships, of course, that's always a question, right? So um, we have several different, a couple different scholarships. We have one for undergraduate students that um, gives a 50% tuition discount for up to eight courses per year, four courses per semester. Um, so that would be 50% tuition discount. And then the graduate award is also there. Um, and we base it primarily on GPA, but also based on an essay that students have to submit on why do you want to study at Park University. We want to know that you're a good fit for us and you know about us and you know um, why you want to study at Park. And this is also a question that you will get at the visa interview to uh, determine if you're uh, going to be a, a student, a viable student in the United States. So, um, you know, those are two, those deadlines. Um, there's still time, of course, to apply for fall. Um, it says April 1st, but uh, we still considering applications, um, but also things to keep in mind for the future as well. Application process. Um, we have an online application and we'll give, um, obviously, um, for all of you, it's uh, we're waiving the application fee today. Um, we we'll provide that application fee waiver to you. Uh, so you don't have to pay the application fee waiver pay application fee um, we do have a uh, gpa requirement uh, that we would uh, translate from the indian system and uh, the TOEFL proficiencies and IELTS proficiencies are there however we do waive it for students on the in terms of the graduate students we waive it if you have a four-year indian bachelor degree and we will waive it for select three-year degrees as well depending on um, your marks in those in those uh, degree programs and if you had if you studied at an accredited um, UGC accredited um, Indian University. So, uh, but there's no SAT, there's no GMAT required or GRE. As a financial bank statement, a financial affidavit for right around 21, 22,000 um, that I mentioned earlier, right around 20,000, uh, as I should say. So, um, and some programs do require other documents. So this brings us to the end of the webinar. I hope the information that you have gained today is going to be useful for you for making an application to the university. If you still have any question or any query about applying to the university, then you contact one of the study metro representative. Thank you so much again for joining this webinar. Have a good one.